makeup. <laughs> okay. You don't seem like you wear a lot of makeup. Do you wear a lot of makeup um, on a daily basis or? Well, it depends on the day and um, it depends on what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I, and especially during COVID. I mean, yeah. I, I don't have very many days where I don't wear any makeup, even if I'm not doing anything because I, I want to, you know, it's for me to have a little color in my face because I'm very pale, very pale. And so even if it's just me alone and my cat, I put a little color, you know, a little something. I always, of course, do all my moisturizers, but I'll put a little color in just to, just to feel perky. So um, my basic, let me start. Now I'm living temporarily right now. So all my stuff is in sort of temporary um, uh, places and stuff. But what I do is I start with um, an eye base. This is my favorite one. It's a Mac long wear paint pot. It's called Painterly. I'm almost out of this one, but it's a really nice base for the eye. It, it's a it's a cream you put on your your eyelid, right? Yeah, it's a cream, and um, I started doing this because I found as I've gotten older, my eyelids are a little red. Oh, wow. just a little funky, like a little red. And I've asked my dermatologist about. It. She says there's nothing I can do. Yeah. So um, that takes the redness away. It takes the redness out. Okay. Yeah, it does. And then if I I don't know why. I just wanted to try a different one one time. So I got one that is by Urban Decay. And this is specifically a primer. And it's very good. It's just a little lighter. The, the uh, Painterly by MAC is a little more subtle. But this is fine. And it's a nice base for eyeshadow. So I put that on. And then one of my favorite things, the YSL um, Touch Eclat. Yep. Touche cat or whatever Touche it's called. Touche this is great stuff. An amazing product. Uh, An amazing another product. Another one that's been around for a long time. Yes. And is still so popular. It's such a great product. It's so great. Yeah. And so I love that. Yeah. And then depending what mood I'm in, I, I have, I've gotten some little, you know, spots on my face, little like, little age spots, I suppose. And if I feel like doing anything about it, I'll use a concealer. There's a, there's a Chanel one. That's nice. This one is, um, who is this? This, uh, cat, cat Von. Cat Von D. Yeah. And yeah. I think people at Sephora turned me on to this one. Yeah. And so this is a great little concealer. So if I feel like touching up anything, I'll use that, but it depends on my mood. Yeah. So then um, I make a decision based on what I'm going to do that day. So I have different foundations that I use. And if it's a really casual day, I know this sounds like high maintenance, but it works for me. So if it's a really casual day and I just want to have, you know, not a lot of makeup on, this Armani makes a really nice, um, it's called a glow moisturizer, oh, nice. but it's just got a little tiny bit of, it's got a little color in it. It's called color control glow moisturizer, Armani oh, nice. Prima. It's very nice. It's very light. It has very little coverage and, but it just has a nice little glow to it. So I'll just put some of that on. Yeah, that sounds great. And, and for all, for whatever foundation I'm using, this isn't even really a foundation, but um, I've learned, I'm learning to put less and less on. That's been my lesson over the last few, you know, few years is just less is more. So yeah. then if the natural I'm going look is, is, is pretty big. So, you know, I think you're, you're doing what a lot of women are doing. They just don't want to have that cakey. Right. And, and all the time and i i don't want to be the one of those women as i age to you know just look like i'm all makeup yeah not yeah. good not a good look so then if i'm in a fancier mood <laughs> i would put on my armani um luminous silk foundation okay 
and that, oh, I've skipped one. I've got another one in between too. Um, but I love this stuff. It's really, really nice. It has nice coverage, nice color. It's just, it just feels a little bit more polished. And one in between it, I found uh, was the L'Oreal, L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation. A little bit goes a long way. And it's a, a very nice, basic, simple, little coverage a, a little more coverage than this year yes what? Yeah. yes yes this the armani has is pretty sheer this has a little coverage the l'oreal and then the armani is just more polished and has the yeah. pro proper amount of coverage yeah good so th from there i um use my eyebrow thing you get it? Sorry. I've got these things in different places. <laughs> so again, I have choices. So if I just want to tidy up a little bit, I use my Anastasia clear gel eyebrow thing just to keep them. I have a lot of eyebrows, so I just like to keep them in, you know, place. In check. Yeah. Yeah. So I use that. If I want a little color, a little, I'm a little dressier mood, I use the one with color. And it's a really nice little brush. So it goes on, just zip, zip, zip on. Perfect. And then I put um, a little eyeshadow on and I've used, I'm very basic when I'm wearing my glasses. I just put a really neutral um, eyeshadow on the, uh, the main part of my eyelid. Yeah. And I'm currently using a Chanel with a little wand which is quite nice. Oh, it's a liquid. It's a liquid and it has a little, oh, little perfect. sparkle to it. Nice. And then I put brown. I'm currently using, I've, I've tried like the brown version of the Chanel one and all that stuff. And sometimes I'll use it, but I have to say, it's really old now too. This um, little chubby stick from Clinique mm -hmm. is great in the creases. Bing, 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 done. You know, just really easy. Oh, easy. Yeah. And then if I have my contacts in and I'm going out some, I use the brown all over the lid. Okay. All right. Then um, while that's sort of drying, I use the Benefit tint on my cheeks. Okay. To provide a little color as a base. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit, just as a yeah. base. And then I go back and um, if I'm these days, if I'm going to put mascara on, I don't put any eyeliner on. And if I'm not putting mascara on, I'll put a little eyeliner on just to give my eyes a little definition. Yeah, that's, that's a great approach. You know, it's yeah. And it's <laughs> I'm kind of into sim simplifying these days. <laughs> And um, so uh, my eyeliner, I use a liquid eyeliner and then to soften it, cause I don't like the harsh look of liquid. The liquid eyeliner is great because it stays, but it looks a little harsh. So I'll go over it with a little stick, a cream stick. Perfect. Yeah. And if I'm wearing my contacts, I line my lower lids too. Okay. And then my mascara, I just use like a cover girl. And yeah. then if I want to zip it up a little bit, I'll use some other, you know, this is a Shiseido one, but I'll use another one that'll really make them big. Yeah. Nice. And then I finish off with my Chanel blush. Oh, okay. So you use the, the Benefit tint as a blush and then you put the powder on the top. Because the benefit tint just gives me like a little, like a blush kind of tends to wear off. Yeah. Especially wearing masks. Right. right. You know, and so the tint seems to be more like a, it's more like a stain. Yeah. So it tends to stay a little better. Uh -huh. well, that's a it's great not strategy. quite enough. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's not quite enough for me because I'm so pale and I do want a little color. Right. So the tint is just a little base. And then I just, just and it's, and the um, blush is nice and soft. 
So yeah. Yeah. that's it. And awesome. then, so that's my makeup. And then my lipstick just depends on what I'm doing. You yeah. know, if I'm, if I'm going someplace or not and all that kind of stuff. And then I've recently discovered, this is very good for pandemic times, this really great, it's kind of a cross between a lipstick and a lip balm. Oh. And it's by um, Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury, yeah. Tilbury. Yeah. And it's really kind of nice. It is somewhere in between. And it tends actually to stay a little better. But it is, it's kind of a stain lip balm lipstick. And it's pretty good. But other than that, I use MAC lipsticks a lot. Um, Chanel. I like Chanel products a lot. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Very nice. And I think that's my routine. I know it doesn't seem very simple, does it? <laughs> well, you got a routine by day, what you're doing. So um, you shared us everything with us. I did. I with did. us everything. So it seems like a lot, but I bet depending on what you're doing that day, it's it's a lot simpler when you're doing it. I, it's my a routine. You're used to it. Right? I know. I, I'm pretty fast in the morning. It doesn't take oh. me very long. I mean, really... One, it's like my makeup is like a, you know, five minute deal. So it's very fast.